Okay, let me continue through the news here. I had another little stack of uh, depression news that I'm looking for here. I'll have to find that during the break. Uh, let me shift gears here uh, before I get into that list of uh, other news media talking about how America is basically done for. And that's now a uh, popular, popular little sport. Well, here, I found one of them. Let me go over this report for you. 50 random facts that make you wonder what in the world has happened to America. This is from the Economic Collapse blog. So let's go through the 50. Let's see if we have time. Number 50, counting down to number one. A new report released by the United Nations is publicly calling for the establishment of a world currency. And none of the major news networks are even covering it. 49. The state of California is so broke that Arnold Schwarzenegger has ordered California state controller to reduce state workers' pay for July to the federal minimum allowed by law. $7.25. 48. A police officer in Oklahoma recently tasered an 86-year-old disabled grandma in her bed and stepped on her oxygen hose until she couldn't breathe because they considered her to be a threat because she argued with them, didn't touch them. That tortures what heroes do. 47. In early 2009, U.S. net national savings as a percentage of GDP went negative for the first time since 1952, and it was continued in its downward trend since then. 46. Core Exit 9500 is so incredibly toxic that the UK's Marine Management Organization has completely banned it. So if there was a major oil spill in the North Sea, BP would not be able to use it. And yet BP has dumped over a million gallons of dispersants such as this toxic chemical, Core Exit 9500 in the Gulf of Mexico. 45. For the first time in U.S. history, more than 40 million Americans are on food stamps, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture projects the number will grow to 43 million Americans by 2011. That's the equivalent of 21st century soup lines. 44. It has come out that one employee used a federal emergency management agency credit card to buy $4,318 in happy birthday gift cards. Two other FEMA officials charged the cost of 360 golf umbrellas, 9000 to taxpayers. 43, researchers at the State University of New York in Buffalo received $389,000 from the U.S. government to pay 100 residents of Buffalo $45 each to record how much malt liquor they drink and how much pot they smoke each day. 42, the average duration of unemployment in the United States has risen to an all-time high. 41, but, but Obama says the economy is doing great, though. Record unemployment, record people on food stamps, but everything's fine. 41, the bottom 40% of all income earners in the United States now collectively own less than 1% of the nation's wealth. Number 40, in the U.S., the average federal worker now earns about twice as much as the average worker in the private sector. 39, back in 1950, each retiree's Social Security benefit was paid for by 16 workers. Today, each retiree's Social Security benefit is paid for by approximately 3.3 workers. By 2025, it is projected that there will be approximately two workers for each retiree. Number 38, according to the U.S. Treasury Department report, to Congress, the U.S. national debt will top $13.6 trillion this year and climb to an estimated $19.6 trillion by 2015. That's just what the media reports on, folks. The Washington Post admits $600 trillion in derivatives, and those bankers claim we will pay for all of that, even though it's not ours. 37. The federal government actually had the gall to ask for online donations that will supposedly go towards paying off national debt. 36. The Cactus Bug Project at the University of Florida 
has allocated $325,000 in economic stimulus funds to study the mating decisions of cactus bugs. 35, a dinner. We're going to come back, ladies and gentlemen. We'll, we'll continue. 50 random facts that make you wonder what in the world has happened to America. Of course, I would add a few of my own. Why is the government now openly admitting they've put microphones up everywhere, putting our public comments in parks, in malls, through NSA databases? That's coming up after I take calls in the next segment. I'm going to get into the police state stack of news from today. A dinner cruise company in Chicago got nearly one million in economic stimulus funds to combat terrorism. <laughs> Number 34, it is being reported that a six-year-old girl from Ohio is on the no-fly list maintained by U.S. Homeland Security. And they refuse to take her off. It's about it being absurd, where you just accept that they do whatever they want. Number 33, during the first quarter of 2010, the total number of loans that are at least three months past due in the United States increased for the 16th consecutive quarter to an all-time record, I would add. 32, according to a new report, Americans spend twice as much as residents of other developed countries on health care, but get lower quality and far less efficiency. Well, government just took it over, so it's going to get a lot worse. And they've now admitted in the AP, the Hill, Obama has admitted, oh, I'm sorry, you don't get free health care. We make you buy health care if you're poor. <laughs> and then, I'm sorry. Here's another one. 31, some experts are warning that the cost of bailing out Fannie and Freddie Mac could reach as high as $1 trillion. Number 30, the FDA has announced that the Offspring of cloned animals could be in our food supply right now. Well, uh, yeah, for at least six, seven years, they've had cloned chickens and cloned cow meat. I mean, you've been eating it, ladies and gentlemen. The FDA has announced that offspring of cloned animals could be in our food supply right now and that there's nothing that they can do about it. Yeah, but if you don't pay one nickel of taxes, they're going to come. But, oh, we can't do anything about the cloned animals. We can harass Amish people and arrest people that get caught all over the country selling eggs on the street corner that they got from their own chickens. But we can't stop big agribusiness from giving you cloned food. <laughs> Continuing, in May, sales of new homes in the United States dropped to the lowest level ever recorded. And that's even with cooked federal numbers. Uh, continuing, uh, 28, in 1950, the ratio of the average executive paycheck to the average worker's paycheck was about 30 to 1. Since the year 2000, the ratio has been arranged between 300 to 500 to 1. Number 27, federal border officials recently said that Mexican drug cartels have not only set up shop on Arizona soil, they're actually maintaining lookout bases in strategic locations in the hills of southern Arizona as much as 80 miles into the United States. And that's back in the news today. Huge border wars in Texas and Arizona over the weekend. And if Americans now go down major highways, Mexican troops and cartels actually stop them and steal everything they've got. And the police refuse to even help. I mean, it's just total collapse of society. The globalists love it. The U.S. government has declared some parts of Arizona off limits to U.S. citizens. That's number 26 because of the threat of violence from Mexican drug smugglers. Number 25, we're halfway through. And every one of these I read, I can think of 10 or 15 things even worse that are going on. Uh, 25, according to the credit card repayment calculator, if you owe 6000 on a credit card with a 20% interest rate and only pay a minimum payment each time, it will take you 54 years to pay off the credit card. During those 54 years, you will pay $26,168 in interest rate changes in addition to the 6000 in principal that you are required to pay back. So you'll pay uh, $22,000 plus dollars. Yeah, $23,000 plus, no, no, $33,000. $26,000 and $6,000. So uh, you'll be paying uh, over $30,000. That's kind of like, uh, you know, the central banks. They loan a billion dollars to somebody they made up. They end up paying back $50 billion. They still owe $50 billion. That's like Nigeria. I love to use that example. 24, according to... 
prepared testimony by Goldman Sachs Chief Operating Officer Gary Cohn. Goldman Sachs shorted roughly $615 million of the collateralized debt obligations and residual mortgage-backed securities the firm underwrote since late 2006. And that's just one report on one Timberwolf transaction. Yeah, they were betting against what they were selling their clients. That's their whole business model. Number 23, the six biggest banks in the United States now possess assets equivalent to 60% of America's gross national product. And when they're done, they'll have over 100%. How is that possible? They'll own everything, and you'll owe them a bunch of interest on it, so it'll be more. I mean, it's like they've made $600 trillion and made up derivatives. I'm going to run through the rest of these. Go to your calls and hit some police state news. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Long segment coming up. Ton of key info.